This is Walter Smith III, and you're watching First Look. The brilliant musician, composer, and educator Walter Smith III has just released his second Blue Note album entitled Three of Us Are From Houston and Reuben Is Not. <laughs> it's a compelling and entertaining musical conversation between four of the most vibrant artists of our time. Walter, thank you for being here today to discuss the new record. Great to see you, man. Great to see you too, Don. Thanks for having me. <laughs> well, since you mentioned it in the title, Let's talk about Houston for a minute. I, I don't think it's hyperbolic to state that contemporary music has really been globally impacted and changed over the last couple of decades by the musicians who've not only come from Houston, but have come from your school, man, the, the high school for the performing and visual arts. What What's going on there, man? <laughs> Man, I think that we've been lucky to have a lot of the people that have moved on and done great things that are alums come back and and kind of inspire us and share with us. Um, you know, when I first got there, we had a Texas Allstate plaque on the on the wall. And as a ninth grader, you know, I'm looking at the names there. I'm seeing Everett Harp and Herman Matthews and Chris Dave and Jason Moran and all these people, Eric Carlin, I'm I want to be there by the time I leave. And then those people actually would come to the school during Christmas break, just hang out, talk to us, tell us about what it was like to be a musician, tell us about people they were playing with and that interaction with those people who, you know, we just, I just knew him as Eric, you know, like Eric plays drums, but you know, I, when, when you start to put them in the context that they, that they exist in outside of that, these people are a really big deal. Um, and it was really cool to have access to them like that. That's wonderful. It's a, it's a great school, man. Uh, one of my favorite songs on the album is Office Party Music. And you told me a while back that you wrote the song imagining that you were rescoring a scene that was etched in your memory from an old TV show. And I think that's a brilliant source of inspiration. Tell us about working that way. Yeah, I mean, always working from some kind of prompt, um, but it was also purpose built, if I'm being honest, you know, because I figured that at every Blue Note office party, um, maybe that could be a theme song. Uh, it seems like that would fit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but you actually, did you close your eyes and picture the scene and and actually seriously play what you what was happening? Yeah, it was it was this weird show in the people are working they don't know what they're working on they only have half of their brain and all this kind of stuff and basically as a reward for completing a task they were able to get a party and they were played uh you could select the music and they selected defiant jazz to play in the background and i just kind of thought about that it was weird the dance moves the, the whole <laughs> night, it, it, uh, memorable scene so yeah all right well let's play the track from his new album three of us are from houston and reuben is not it's a composition called office party music you composed all the songs in the album except for one point of many returns which was a, a sam rivers composition from his album uh contours great blue note album he's been an an important source of inspiration for you over the years and uh talk about sam and, and why he's so important to you yeah um I, you know as a young musician growing up you know a lot of people tell you what to listen to and they kind of they they kind of put you on a path to, in a certain direction and um everybody doesn't have people that will uh tell them when they're kind of doing something that is a little bit mundane or you know you're not really realizing yourself as an artist or or 
taking chances. You know, you're you're just doing things correctly. And Jason Moran was that person for me. And he he told me, uh, you know, you need to. I remember he told me there are rhythms other than eighth notes. <laughs> he told me, how about checking out this person, this person, this person, and. At that moment, um, the first person that I came to where I got it was Sam Rivers. Um, and this album, Contours, uh, was that album for me. It's my favorite of his, um, or at least at that time it was. And it really just opened up my ideas of, of what composition was, what sound was, um, rhythmic, uh, you know, approach to playing, um, playing with melodic ideas, not everything not trying to be super clean like I'm not a guitar player or something you know like trying to really get into the essence of improvisation and just being creative and the thing that always stuck out to me about Sam Rivers is that he's making those records at the same time as you know like Sidewinder is happening and all these other things that are going in one direction and he's going yeah. in a different direction and it's really inspiring and like a model for you know following following your own creative path rather than feeling like you have to kind of do what what everybody is doing i, I agree man he was a giant look man congratulations on this wonderful uh groundbreaking new album uh we have blue note are really honored to work with you and to be part of bringing this album to the world's attention man nice work thank you so much my pleasure and thanks for being here today thank you for watching everybody and we'll see you next time on first look if you enjoyed First Look and would like to see more, please hit the subscribe button and also click the bell icon. That way you'll be notified when we post our next video.